Hello. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how the block swap mod works for Forge. Uh, this one. First, go to your config folder, then a block swap, then open the block underscore swap, then uh, scroll all the way down, then here, copy this for ease of use, or make it easier for yourself. Then how how do you how do you use this? Is just okay. this is the block you're replacing, like Minecraft dirt into Minecraft gold block. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be dirt. It can be or like it doesn't have to be a gold block. It can be the great andesite alloy block. Then you save it. You save and quit then you load the world to reload the config with it now any dirt that is placed you will turn into blocks of andesite alloy and any new generated dirt will also be turned into it and the same is with if you if a block turns into dirt because of something like farmland it will turn into dirt in instead of dirt or this instead of dirt uh, the same is with li liquids like water and lava I like water into lava go find new chunks without any generated water I uh, like here it's an ocean now replacing already existing water into lava you just need to enable retrogen I would enable this in a large mod pack with structure mods either like as well because the structures might place items or blocks that you don't want your players to have and they could get it from the structure somehow but it will replace any existing block into that it can be a bit laggy if you're replacing an, an already generated world but it'll work now for the advanced state swapper this one just uh, show you you can do stuff like change oak locks on the z axis into burst locks on the x axis like well, let me show you then just grab an oak lock here then yeah, any locks on this axis will turn into birch locks, but any locks on this, on this, or any other will stay as they were. You can use this to get rid of water locked blocks from generating or existing and everything like that. The properties can be changed into something else. That's about everything I can think of for now. Uh, if you need any help, just join the Discord, link in description, and subscribe. Uh, that's it. Goodbye.